Hey everyone, I'm Danny the Consumer, and I'm going to be explaining how I use Talent Macros to streamline some of my gameplay in World of Warcraft. Here I'm going to be explaining how you can create a macro that will automatically adjust, depending on which talent you have selected within the tier. Refreshing Jade Wind, Summon Chi Chi the Red Crane, and Jade Serpent Statue will all be on the exact same button. On top of that, there's also going to be Priority, depending on who you're targeting. The macro is placed here, and you can see as I change my abilities, it will automatically update the macro. To start, you're going to be needing two add-ons. The first will be Macro Toolkit. Essentially, I use Macro Toolkit just so that I can extend the size of my window so I can more easily see what I'm doing. But the main add-on that I need to do this will be Long Macros, which you activate with Slash L after downloading. Long Macros allows me to create macros over 255 characters long, which is the default limit in World of Warcraft. I can now create a macro over a thousand characters long. Oh, and don't freak out. You do not need to make a macro that long. Essentially, the reason why mine are so long are because I like it for a single macro to work for a talent tier across all of my specializations on the character. For example, when I switch to my Windwalker Monk, the same macros will automatically adjust and even then adjust again when you switch your talent tiers. I do this for convenience and to save space because there's an 18 macro limit per character. Before you think to yourself, that's a bit complicated, it actually just boils down to your two conditionals, your conditional for your talent and your conditional for your specialization. To use the specialization conditional, just write in spec, colon, and then either 1, 2, 3, or 4. The number will correspond to your spec, 1 being the top spec and 4 being the bottom spec. And of course, if you don't have 4 specs, it'll be that number. Your conditionals will be placed within brackets and everything within the brackets must be met for the spell following to be cast. To translate, if in second spec, then cast this spell. If even just one of your conditions within your brackets is not met, then the following spell will not be cast and the macro will move on to the next spell in the sequence if you have written more. And finally, the talent conditional is essentially the same thing, except instead of a number that represents your specialization, it's a number that represents which specific talent you have chosen. The first number will be the tier, and the second number will be the column. There are three columns of talents. So if I'm using 7 slash 2, that means if in my seventh tier I'm using the second column talent, then the following spell in the macro will be cast. Here's an example of what I showed you at the very beginning of the video. This macro has three parts. The semicolons in between all three parts represents an if then. If the previous does not apply, then move on to the next one. It is with semicolons that you can make incredibly long macros, just continuously daisy chaining more and more conditionals and spells with semicolons. This is why I use the long macros add-on because at some point you're going to hit that 255 character limit. It is at this point where you could add your own targeting conditionals like at mouse over or at focus. If you have any questions about macros, be sure to let me know in the comments. Macros can be pretty intimidating when you're first getting into them and if you'd like I'd even make a beginner's video in understanding how to use basic macros. Side note. The long macros add-on as of the making of this video has not been kept up to date, but I spoke with the creator of the add-on and he gave me a link to a Dropbox file so that you can download the zip for long macros, unzip it, and then install it into World of Warcraft. I have tested it and currently as of December 7th, 2016, it is still working. That's about all I have for you guys today. I'm Danny the Consumer. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more in-depth content on World of Warcraft. If you have any questions about this video in particular, I will be answering them over Twitter and in the comments. Have a great day, and I'll see you all on the Broken Isles.